first. You don't have to bow to her. No. Just kiss my hand, honey. You were supposed to show up six weeks ago. Where have you been? We were working over at the state college. Doing what? Making picket signs. Oh. We made a couple extra ones in case you give us any trouble. Look, you promised me you'd finish the bedroom. Promise is a promise. Right. Not to us, but to some carpenters. If there were any little carpenters around here, I... It's just us, Poopsie. What does that do to your id? We'd have been here sooner, only we uh, were waiting for lumber. Yeah, we knew you wanted the best, so we had to wait till they tore down Luke Rockwell's chicken coop. Chicken coop lumber? That's the best you can get. It's age in the egg. Well, pick it up, carry it inside, and start putting it on. Oh, hello, dear. Good morning, Miss Douglas. Gosh, don't you look beautiful. I bet you just got up, too. Oh, no, no, I've been up about a half an hour. You don't look that good after you've been up for three weeks. Well? Or three years. How would you like a bop in the beezer? How would you like to go in and start working on the Rob, bedroom? Rob, if you have a beauty problem... Problems? She's got the only face in town that's been declared a disaster area. <laughs> How would you like a shot in the head? You lay one finger on me and I'm going to tell Mom. If you two spent as much time working as you do fighting, you'd have been finished with the bedroom two years ago. How would you like a shot in the head? Oh, now, see here. Rob, as I was saying, if you have a beauty problem, I am opening a cosmetical department in Mr. Drucker's store. Well, that's wonderful. I need a pair of forehead tweezers. There's no such thing. But I am going to carry a complete line of cosmeticals. I am going to have... Lisa, you're holding them up. Well, it never hurts to do a little advertising. Well, do as little as you can so that they can get started on the bedroom, huh? Boy, he's a real hyperthyroid. What does that mean? Means he's got too much hyper in his thyroid. <laughs> Let's pick up the lumber and... As soon as I hear about the cosmetics... Of all the blundering... <laughs> Ed, what are you doing? Freezing apart in my hair. <laughs> what? Get your head out of there, you trouble. You see, what I do is I give myself a shampoo, and then I rush my head into the refrigerator, and I'm well-groomed all day. Yes. Well, don't... Well, unless the sun comes out. Oh. No, I got three nitwits here. Oh, the Munro brothers showed up, huh? Finally. Boy, I heard they did a great job on the picket signs over at the state college. I have no... Not only do they build the signs, but they make up their own slogans like, uh, being the dean, keep your cool, don't burn the school, and don't pop corn on the roof of the dorm. I'm not interested in... One of these days, they're going to make the big time. Berkeley. <laughs> Deb, I have enough problems. Oh, Oliver. Oh, Ab, I see you had your head in the refrigerator again. Yes, ma'am. Oh, looks very nice. <clears throat> Look, how about breakfast, hmm? Oh, from now on, you have to make your own. I am a career woman. Uh, did Alf and Ralph start to work yet? No, but they will be in a half an hour. Half an hour? That's how long it's going to take them to get to Drucker's. Why are they going to Drucker's? To build me some shelves. What? Remember the idea you had last night, that I have too many cosmeticals and not enough space? Well, from now on, I shall have all the space I need for everything I order. What about the bedroom? Business before pleasure. <laughs>